all right welcome to the next part of this tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be creating a fake api to pretty much forward our stuff to so um the way we're going to do this is i'm just going to create another folder inside of here and i'm just going to call it fake api and inside of this fake api i'm going to close these down so we can get these out of the way and they don't get confusing inside of this fake api we're pretty much going to do exactly what we did with um this first um gateway so i'm going to cd into this fake api and then inside of here i'm going to call npm init dash y all right now we have this and um inside of here I'm just going to install Express and I I guess we can install NodeMine. Well, we don't need NodeMine. We'll just install Express. All right, so npm i express. So the purpose of this uh, fake API is really just to have something to forward our um, requests to. Um, obviously, and if you were going to use this in you know in the real world, you would have real APIs that um, you would be for forwarding requests to. But in this case, we're just going to create something really fast. All right, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and create a server.js file, and then in this server.js file, we're just going to create an Express um, server and just send back. Uh, I guess hello from fake server or something like that. So let's do the same exact thing. So constant express equals require. Can't spell right now. All right, equals require that. And then const app equals express. JSON and then we're going to say app.get and then we're just going to do uh, what should we call this fake API I guess fake API and then we will pass res not res request then response What is going on with my typing today? All right, so we got that. Um, now we're just going to response.send, and then we're just going to send hello from fake server. All right, so now we have hello from fake API server. This is what's going to be sent back when we make this call. All right, so this will be our, f oh wait, I have not even started the server. So let's go down here and do also another start. So we're gonna run this server on port 3001. Then we're going to go app.listen. This is going to actually start up the server. Then we're going to go port. And then let's just go ahead and log this the same way we did before. There we go. All right. So now we have a server. Let's try to run it. Make sure that up. Uh, oh, let's go ahead. Oh, we're not using NodeMine. So we'll just run Node Server JS. All right. So this server works. I believe it does. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this server in the background. That way, I don't have to keep opening up more and more 
of these terminals. So we're going to run node. We actually need to do it like this. All right, that's going to start it up in the background. And let's try to curl, shoot a curl to it. Curl HTTP slash slash localhost 2001. And then it was fake API. All right, there we go. Hello from fake API server. And then we can see that. Um, yeah, that's fine. All right, so we have a fake API that is running here. And I think I'll stop this uh, this video here. Um, we will go back to actually forwarding this request from the API gateway to this fake API in the next tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in the next one.